All right, next modification to our camper is going to be these smart tiles. These are a popular product in a lot of these campers right now. I've seen on the forums, and we're going to give it a try. It is a thin, basically self-adhesive self gel tile that we're going to put along our back here and wrap around the stove and up high, up behind here. Now some people have also done around the valence in the window and removed the window frame to make a real nice seamless look. Um, I don't think I'm going to go that far yet, but we may make that decision as we, as we start marching these across. We're going to ask the boss there and see uh, what the final verdict is before we do the rest. So you can pick these up at Home Depot, you can pick them up online at Amazon, and pretty straightforward, just clean everything with like a rubbing alcohol or a grease remover, especially if you've had your camper longer and there might be residue build up. Um, we've had ours, you know, six months, so uh, not too much on there. And so I already did that. I took the rubbing alcohol, washed everything down, let it dry, even did it again around the edges and the corners just to make sure that was good. And yeah, really, you just peel and stick, uh, making sure that each one, you know, has this two thing that overlaps the tile before it, so you get a nice, clean, uh, seamless finish. So we shall see how it goes. Okay, so I have found out that you can reposition it a little bit if you don't press it on too hard at the first time, which is coming handy. Um, otherwise, they're going in pretty well. Try to... They're really sticky, so and they're almost like a little bit of a static. Um, Once you get that first one kind of lined up, I kind of just give it a little pressure with my with my fingers, work my way up the the joint to make sure it lines up at the top, and you got to find out where it overlapped at the bottom. There it is. Kind of just work your way in on a slight angle to keep out any air from underneath of it. Working your way up towards that corner. And I think what I'm going to do is take a take one of those um, microfiber towels. I'm going to go get one of them and I'm going to rub it in really nice because that'll glide over really smooth. But that is six tiles. It only took me a few minutes, especially once I got it cut. We did cut out a little bit down here at the bottom just to get around where the shade attachment is because. It fit really well right up against the window trim, so I'm not going to cut that and trim it out because it's it's even kind of hidden by that. Um, so we're going to do this side before I go around and do the top band. I want to see how it all lays out. I'm going to test fit it first, and we'll decide if I am going to go up to there because it's, it's going to finish right here below the hood. It might be nice to run it up to the underside of the cabinet, but then I'm not sure if I want to go all the way up. You know, there's so many options, but um, yeah, I'm really pleased so far. I'm going to go get that microfiber and press this on before I start the next wall. Well, all done, at least for now, and uh, what we were able to do, I had a few that I messed up on, but uh, we were able to do the full backsplash here, and I even have a spot, we're going to put an outlet in here because we don't have any outlets along this area, and now that we have the stove cover, it really works nice for a counter, you can put the toaster here, or even a little mini Keurig, but it worked out real well, we got a nice joint right up against the edge of the trim here. So I still had one tile left and a little scrap. So what did we do? Hey, hey, check it out. I think it just adds a little dimension, makes it look nice. 
one tile is 12 rows so cut it into four slots of I mean sorry it's 16 rows cut it into four slots and then use some of my scrap here to cut it in now these panels they float so you can even push in on them and kind of tuck it in there so that works really nice gives it a nice little uh, aesthetic to tie in you know the whole camper now so I'm pretty happy with it real easy to do um, I think I am going to go up another band but for right now I'm going to stop let them set and uh, wipe them down again with the microfiber towel that works really well it just glides right over top to uh, put them on so real happy with them uh, really dresses it up nice and uh, so far Becky likes it as well.